타임즈 뭐 제날자의 비즈니스 안에 어떤 기사가 나왔냐면 What we are watching in 2024 From elections to AI Here are some big scenes that could define business As you look ahead uh, to the new year We have identified some scenes that are likely to become a, a running narrative that could define the business and the policy ecosystem uh, for the next 12 months. Of course, the U.S. presidential election, perhaps one of the most uh, polarizing in history, is going to impact uh, every part of the business world. Watch out for which chief executives and other financiers are the back candidates and which ones are the go uh, silent and how companies deal with the outspoken uh, employees. Also, look for some wealthy executives to avoid giving directly to candidates but instead donate to PAC uh, as a shield of salt. From public scrutiny. Another storyline that will probably remain part of the uh, water cooler or uh, slack and the X uh, conversation in business is the backlash against environmental, social, and the corporate governance principles or the ESG. Uh, this fight has manifested itself into a political battle and increasingly found its way in the past year into a debate about free speech on campus, another theme that isn't going away. Here's a bit more detail on what we are looking out at for this other year. The U.S. presidential election. The race that seems to set to come down to a rerun of 2020 with Donald J. Trump leading opinion polls uh, to be the Republican candidate despite uh, his mounting uh, le legal battle. The big question is how business leaders will respond. Will they coalesce, coalesce allow them to direct their money to an uh, anyone but Trump candidate, uh, Nikki Haley, Nikki Haley, the former governor of South Carolina, is leading that race, but she has a long way uh, to uh, to go to catch up to Mr. Trump, President Biden, who has made a series of consequential decision on the economy. Hope voters will start to feel an economic upswing uh, to reverse its sagging uh, poll rating. Private credit uh, could take a hit, just as 1980s style leveraged buyout have been uh, re-christened re -christened private equity. So to had the shadow banking been rebranded as private credit and the direct lending in time for the biddings uh, to reach its highest levels yet. Direct lending by investment firms and the hedge funds had become a $1.5 trillion titan uh, with the scores of companies turning to the likes of Apollo and RS for loans instead of, say, J.P. Morgan Chase. But the industry may face a test in 2024. Indebted borrowers already are turning to private credit for yet more loans, raising concern that lenders could face a wave of defaulting uh, clients. A, st a string of failure could hit uh, these lenders had skeptics fear, leaving pension fund insurers and other uh, backers of private uh, credit fun, uh, funds holding the back. 
media deal mania. The Middle East money will keep the flowing. Tensions with China and the economic sanction have made it increasingly difficult for companies to raise money from a place that used to be the top of the list. Uh, Middle Eastern investors have picked up the picked up the slack. Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Qatar, and the others are spending money as they look to diversify uh, their fossil fuel dependent economies. The sectors are wide ranging, including sports, tech companies, luxury, retail, and media. Critics say the petrol state, petrol state. Petro State, with dubious human rights records, are trying to launder, launder their reputation, but that hasn't stopped the Western billions from seeking their uh, lucre, lucre. One trend to watch the growing ties between China and the Middle East and money, Beijing is trying to deepen links with the countries outside of Washington's orbit, or at least with those willing to play both sides. New uh, climate disclosure rules. Public companies have been bracing for years for new climate-related disclosure rules from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Uh, another election to watch at the India's the world's biggest democracy and the rising superpower. Rising superpower India will go to the polls. Will go to the polls that in uh, April and May. Prime Minister uh, Narendra Modi is benefiting from the West's search for the regional bulwark, regional bulwark to counter China. Bidens is looking at opportunities in India as companies work to diversify their supply chain and tap into a fast growing tap into a fast growing economy. The election will also be a crucial early test of how AI can factor into the spread of misinformation during an election, workplace at a shake-up. In late 2022, the release of chat GTP propelled AI into the public consciousness. In 2023, companies experimented with new ways to build the technology into their operation. But few had yet to overhaul, overhaul their procedures to cope, cope. It's still not clear exactly what AI will mean for jobs. But in 2024, we may see more companies making decisions about this use in ways that will have consequences for workers. The other big topic workplaces are grappling, grappling with is the response to the war in Gaza. Some companies are already considering changes to their workplace diversity, equity, and inclusion program, and executives face some of the same pressures as university presidents when it comes to how to handle their statement and the responses to instance related to the war. Ah, then you the second again, Piona is Hunger, Miguel's of the India. You don't Piona three or Turkey, Pigeon is a young little bitchy country. That I'm Jungian.